The fearsome Drakir. And yeah, this is our sixth stream of Dark Souls Genesis, and yeah, let's just get right into it. Uh, Eden should be sealed off now, or about to be sealed, because we were going after Dagon, yeah, who is still trying to flood Eden. Mm. Oh dear. I, I know the perfect weapon to defeat Dagon with. What, a uh, fish fryer? A dwarf machine called the Axe Hurler. Uh, give me a moment, I forgot to close the browser after sending out the ads. Uh, yeah, everything else looks good. This is a bit curious though, this is clearly going to be a boss fight, but why are there two creature cores that we can get here? And also, we have double uh, the recommended power. Okay, that's good. Do do we quick? I think we're gonna uh, deal with a new trash mob. Uh, probably it's going to likely summon stuff. We still didn't get some of the cores here, but I think we have enough of an advantage that we probably won't need to grind anymore uh, before we reach the end of the game. So let's just get into it. Oh yeah, let's hope you're not getting tricked. Let's see. I do find it a bit funny slash ironic that since they got since Eden got involved, the uh, the roles with strife and war have been sort of flipped. In that uh, strife has become the one who's doggedly going after the mission, and uh, war is the one who wants to do extra stuff. All right. Just some extra fodder. Okay, even with that tide collar gone, it's there's still a lot of rain coming down. Hmm. Oh yeah. And I'm guessing Dagon is supposed to be a, a much tougher fight than the previous bosses, seeing as we didn't get a. I don't remember if we got a chest like that before any of the other uh, bosses. I'm sure. What the heck? Okay, fish sticks. Show yourself. Okay, not exactly how I expected him to look. Yeah, he is not depicted as a uh, a fish-scaled human with beard, or well, as a giant deep one. Tide hunter movement speed. That's the first that is affecting movement speeds. Okay, seems his main method of attack at the moment is to just spawn uh, water strikes on top of us, or at least where we were standing at least, so we would just keep moving. Let's see, we defeat 20 of Dagon's Tidehunter minions before defeating him, okay. Oh, and that's the gravity gun. Uh, we let's have a gravity see. gun. <laughs> okay, we have Beam again. He's immune for a bit. Uh, what are you up to? I don't think he's healing. Oop, uh... Okay. Uh... <laughs> Don't ask me how I managed to survive that. Because that was entirely an accident. <laughs> okay, this may explain the power level but this this captain's J. It's not the power we need to worry about, it is wave attack. Even then, just knocking us off the platform would, wouldn't hurt that much. Ow. Uh, 
Come on. Out. Okay. There we go. Yeah, we just used that. Oh. Okay, what is... Ow. This is starting to hurt now. So, let's swap out. Okay, him saying that is basically... Uh, him starting up that attack, I think. Or... No, not yet, it seems. Uh, oh, we can kill these. Uh, uh, okay, now they're both... Okay, I think we're going... We a good chance that we're going to lose here. Yeah. Okay, so we need to focus down those storm balls. Oh, and somehow we did kill 20 of his minions before we... <laughs> oh, yeah, we I did to reset. say you, you, you did it a while ago. <laughs> oh, well. At least we don't have to focus on that anymore then. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> destroy the, the orbs that he casts, because, yeah, that's going to be an issue. Yes, Is the VWord Studio stuff working correctly? It seems a bit jittery to me. Hmm. Anyways, moving back onto here. Okay. And we got at least about halfway or something. So we still did well. Yeah. We just need to well, <laughs> keep in mind to clear the board when he starts putting more pieces onto it, so to speak. Oh, then, yeah, having the... <laughs> having this one also helps a ton. <laughs> yeah, I almost forgot that skill. Oh, now he is casting the wave. Okay. That was too early, but we'll probably just bounce back up. Yep. Okay. Simple enough to <laughs> dodge like that. Uh, uh. Okay, so those whirlpools are just going to appear anyways. Um. Let's go with lob. Let's go with lava shot, yeah. <laughs> Flames throwing a orb of water. Okay, potion. Shut up. Oh dear. Yeah, these orbs well, are going to be annoying. Who's up for calamari and sushi? <laughs> Oh, oh, come on, I just destroyed that one. Uh. Oh, big boy. Shut up, you have even less personality than most of the characters here. There we go. Oh. That's a lot of water. Oh, but he, he's doing it again already. Or not. Or the ow. Okay, those those whirlpools are annoying as all hell. Yep. Uh, Especially if you can just saturate the entire field with them. So, yeah, I'd say that it's a good chance that the power recommendation is a good ways off from what you actually should have then. Yeah, yeah it, it could be a, uh, a little trick. 
Uh, I wouldn't call it a trick, it would just be, yeah, lying to the player. But then again, it could just also be done very, that I'm acting more reckless than they would expect. But just look at all this shit that's on this, oh, come on, even just a tornado on my location. Yeah, this guy is tougher than the others so far. Shut the hell up. Okay. Leave behind the clone to just out distract. Uh, beam shot. And also just saturate everything with this. Okay, deal with these. Th yeah, these. Uh, yeah, this is this is not a power 300 something mission not at all you sick uh. there's no way let's see anything we can grab from any of these might yeah, uh, help i just realized these might be one of the boss fights we're having you know havoc form be useful yeah but it needs to be charged first yeah, I noticed that, then. Yeah, we have basically everything. Uh, well, let's start out with war this time. Then as more stuff starts spawning, we, uh, we swap the strife. We can use the lightning and life rounds to just saturate everything with fire. Oh, hello in the chat. Uh, how do you actually say that first bit? You know, chancre, chancre, uh, crab? <laughs> or is it more like chance crab? <laughs> uh, welcome to the stream. I uh, hope you'll enjoy what you'll see as we, well, bash our head against this boss. Yeah. Hello and, uh, and welcome! <laughs> and yeah, definitely welcome as well. Uh, I'll play this bit out again. Because uh, we're kind of facing off against an elder god. Let's see, how, uh, how has your day been? Pretty well, I'd say. Uneventful, so generally well. Um, and Shanker is the easiest way to say it. Okay. Not how I would have expected it to be said. Okay. Let's shut up. And yeah, we're fighting Dagon. <laughs> okay. We move back once he starts doing that. Or at least we... Wait, he's... Was that R doing the, the tornado this time or something? It... Okay, so we do not want to get close to this guy, which makes war a bit useless in this battle. Or at least for dealing with him. Uh, first that. that. Now. And... Actually, yeah. Beam shot and electric shot. Electric shot out for when he starts summoning. Oop. That's a quarter done, so he's doing the big one. Uh oh. Let's actually deal with him for. There we go. So, uh, yeah, uh, uh, oh, come on with these freaking maelstroms. Uh, Shanker Crab, how is your day been uh, going then as well? Oh, almost knocked off. Oh, dear. Oh, wait. Deal with that. Okay, I'm not going to like this guy at all with how much he just won't shut the hell up. Yeah. Uh. Okay. Come on. Uh. 
Can I, can I get rid of at least one of them? Yes. Stone skin to help survive better. Okay. And we might as well... Never mind. <laughs> okay. Okay, fuck that. Okay. Yeah, I, this, this is one of the reasons why I'm not a big fan of uh, isometric shooters like this. Because, yeah, especially with bosses like this where they just continually spam stuff that just adds more and more to the field, you start losing track quick, or at least I do. Oh, yeah, yeah so basically shooters can be a pain. That I can agree with. Okay. Ah, there goes all the healing stuff that I just used. Okay, he's doing that again. Try these first. Okay. There we go. That's a lot of water. Oh no, you freaking don't. Oh, come on, strive. Don't get... Okay, I can't yep. tell. Yep. He keep he's doing the same motions for the big spells as the smaller ones. I see, as far as yeah, I can and see. Yeah, you can still do the habit form. Yeah. Oop. Come on. Uh, drink a potion. You should probably remember we have those. Yeah. Oop. Okay. These things again. Hello, potion. That's one. Come on. There we go. Wait, uh, there I am. Lost track for a bit. <sighs> yeah, this is a sudden difficulty spike. Y'all need. Belial was a. A bastard to deal with, but uh, we could force a way through him. But this is just being a bit much. And uh, so yeah, I'm, I can't really tech chat at the moment. And I think of, I think that's tornado is our doing. Luckily, uh, yes, we did it when we land with our our last aerial attack. Um, yep, and there we go. <laughs> uh, oh, we, okay, we have just an absolute... We had an absolute sliver of health left. Okay. Potion? That wrong power. There we go, decoy. You can go have a... Okay, there we go. Right, I think this one is specifically called the Anarchy Form. But oh well. It, oh, yeah, that... Motherfucker's gone immune. Okay, so when he shrouds oh. himself like that, that's when the big one is coming. Okay, that explains... <coughs> Pardon? That explains a lot better. Yep, and we did. Oh, bloody. We did take a big chunk of his health now from that. There. Shut up, Dagon. I can't tell if those maelstroms are just slowing us down or actually dealing damage, but I don't really care. I need to avoid it all the same. Okay, it seems that they do slow us down mostly. Okay, flamethrower the water orb again, then make some more calamari. Uh, get out of the way. Decoy. Yeah, this sort of havoc, I just completely lose track of. <laughs> uh, ammo. Do we have beam? We have a little bit of beam. We have a lot of life. Let's do that. Uh, 
Almost there. There we go. <laughs> okay, to you the honor, Strife. me you could use a bath <laughs> oh, <shit! Yeah. laughs> it's a strife Ugh. okay even in his own turf not a chance I guess we've been cleansed <laughs> I just think that's like the second joke he's made in this entire game. Yeah, it just feels weird. <laughs> okay, let me check chat for a bit. Uh, let's see, it's been good, just fed my daughters and we'll be getting them to bed soon, which is always peaceful. Uh, you got this, GG. Yeah. <laughs> good luck. <clears throat> good luck with the girls uh, when you get to that and thank you as well. Now, let's yeah, see. Ooh. Mm, go Dagon. Melee attacks have a 2% chance to proc chain lightning, dealing light damage based on wrath power to an enemy and jumping to a second within 10 meters. Each jump deals reduced damage. Okay. Hmm. Well, he did use lightning against us as well. All right. Let's, let's heal up as much as we can. Get some arm ammo. And, yeah. Firing this around it really does help with just getting the health back. Yeah, and it could give you extra potions since if you already full heal on all characters, you it turns into potions then instead. Yeah. And yeah, the horsemen have defeated Dagon. No, that, mm. that, that's some good co um, core. Probably is Dagon gonna be a damn pain to farm. Yeah. Uh, let's see, what type is it even? We have a sturdy Slag Demon Dagon. It's a magic one. Okay, but it is only a 2% chance, though. On How much would it be on and, higher levels? 5% uh, uh, chance. Like it. Okay. 5% yeah, yeah. would be a lot better since, yeah, with the amount of attacks that we have to throw out all the time, especially with Strife's faster rate fire. Yeah, that would trigger reasonably enough. Horseman. You smell even worse than you look. <laughs> That'd be the mix of tainted water and demon guts we've been swimming in. You're welcome, by the way. Why strive? I'm doing this for your sake, not mine. And yeah, here we have Samael, a reoccurring character of the series. And uh, yeah, his wings are backwards, you could say. We both know that isn't true. At some point, this arrangement will stop being mutually beneficial. Then it's going to get interesting. <laughs> How pessimistic. For now, however, the benefit remains. So, shall we continue? For the one and only, Moloch now stands in our way. And once Moloch is gone, then Samael's main issue with this is going to be out of the way. Ah, this definitely benefits you more than us. You never did explain why he came for you, Samael. Do the lesser lords of hell always bicker so? Lesser? Do not taunt me, puppet. I'll cut the strings you dance on. If only to crush you when you hit the ground. <laughs> then kill him yourself. You're mighty enough, aren't you? He is invincible, Nilly. Or he never could have moved me from my seat. And his army grows formidable. Okay, how exactly is he invincible then? Some trinkets? Then what of it? We must erode them from within. Beginning with his considerable operation in the Red Waste, where his machines dig up materials of incredible potency. Admit it. You just want his army gutted so that once he's dead, nothing of his realm stands to threaten your ambitions. 
Either way, mutual benefit. <laughs> yeah, Samurai is always a schemer. Go. Destroy everything you can, and while you're there, kill the foreman. The foreman? Any particular reason? Uh, maybe he's unionizing? He was important to my work once. It appears Moloch was able to sway him. For that, I'd like him dead. It's not really a request, so much as a requirement. Yeah, look, at this point, I'll agree to anything if it means ending this conversation. Too long. Must go kill things. <laughs> Another typo. Yeah, th this game has some signs that it was rushed a bit at towards the end. I don't think they have anything new in stores. Yeah, you've oh. been busy. I stand corrected. Okay. Another bar of wrath for war. <laughs> it's only money. And another for Stripe, so he's still in first. <laughs> I hear you'll be having some fun. Um, these would probably also have some new stuff, but we're out of souls. But we can still check. And actually, okay, this is new, I think. Look. Lower entry. Oh, you're all right. I, I completely forgot about that. The journal here. Okay. If we're if we're short on the last stream of this, then we'll definitely be going through this to take a look. Yeah, actually, at the end of the stream, if I had time to spare, we can also read it and start reading it. Yeah. Let's see. Five health cores. All of Health Wars Elemental Enhancements. Okay, Hollow Fiend Core, we got from that. Nice. Two cores for war. 20 of the minions, minions before killing him. And get rid of Dagon as well. Alright. Uh, that actually gives us quite a bit of souls again, so what do you have for sale? Was the purple flame between our horns always there? Uh, yes. Okay, I guess hair. my eyes might have been uh, aimed a bit lower. How low? <laughs> Are you referring to her, her lovely face or are you talk, talking about her thighs? Where'd you find no comment. Let's see. Oh, oh, so that's how we do a synergy move, by holding A. Okay. We'd missed that earlier. And... No, I think it's more of you didn't read it earlier. Uh, yeah. You skipped that over. <laughs> okay. I, so I we're suspect that to... uh, we might have needed to use that skill at Dagon. Hmm. With, with some luck, perhaps, we might be able to get to the end of the game, since there... I, I didn't get an exact count, but I know that there are at least 17 levels. Uh, let's see, the dredge works. The master demon... Uh, yeah, the demon master Moloch forges war machines in a massive war camp. The horsemen seek to disrupt his operation. Okay. Here we go. I'm unsure we get to, to finish this today. Sense. Sure, the first levels went smoothly, the but the later ones... Fuels an entire demon yeah. It's gotta be fun, right? Just when we were getting bored. I presume that uh, whatever bosses we'll be facing next might be even more annoying than Dagon. The horsemen are not to be trifled with. Let's light them up. I do like that the further we go with this, the less they bicker with each other. Also, let me... Yeah, let's go to standard shot since we're low on ammo. Okay. Let's also swap that one out. Actually... Um... 
Got one there. There we go. Oh dear. Morlock's forces approach. These are new. What do they think they're gonna do? Are they going to pull that up? Yep, they are. Because of course they are. All right. Are those molten legionnaires? I guess so. Go. Flame Legion. Okay, uh, not like the ones in Guild Wars, though. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Rampage leaves a damage trail in your path, dealing very light damage based on Wrath Power, World Ender. Enemies are snared, reducing movement speed by 20% for 6 seconds. Uh, Okay, so that's another augment to the Wrath abilities, if we equip them, that is. Hmm. Yeah, we could probably soon uh, take another look on those. And considering how hard Dagon was, I think we may need to do more off-screen farming. Hmm, I, I think, or I hope that Dagon was just a... A bump in the road. Let's see, that needs a spider one. There we go. Uh, look at Strife of War. Yeah, 733 and 683. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see, that needs a one of those. It used to be reverse, people. It used to be reverse. Let's see. Yeah, let's take that. And these are universal so we can just stick whatever we want in these uh, da, 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 five more souls no we are not taking that one because it reduces health by 20 percent yeah it's only useful when you get it max leveled uh grub two percent uh. chance movement speed synergy charges max health oh yeah we're taking that one and let's see so there, Astarte is another augment one. 25% chance to leave. Let's go with Dagon on this one. And then in this we stick... Let's see... Yep, any bit of health is useful. Uh, movement speed. Let's go with that. Charge, and then... Brass power by 15. Astarte... Let's go with this, and yeah, with that we have almost filled out this entire thing. Nice. <laughs> All right, there's there's probably going to be an achievement for filling that thing out. Yep. yep. Miss the hook. All right. Oh no! I just had a flashback of Sophia so early on YouTube. And that being. Basically, a meme, an animation meme, with the following text. Will a pirate wipe his ass with his hooked hand? <laughs> That'd be a very bad idea. <laughs> yeah. That's uh. probably horrible. <laughs> oh, even more. Oh, you are new, I think. <laughs> okay, just yeet them what? both out of existence. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, yeah. It's definitely showing just how powerful these two are now. Yeah. All right. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Is it falling off? Yep. <laughs> okay, off. I missed the bouncing bomb there. Okay, open her up. Do you take the chest? Yeah, it's uh, just a health chest. And oh. we're full on potions. Alright. Oh, and we can go mounted again. Oh no, I just had an idea. Hmm? Oh, flip a coin to your horseman. Valley <laughs> of plenty. <laughs> I can't seem for crap. I, at least I oh. hope the reference was clear. Yeah, Witcher. 
I'm a bit unsure on if we should ever stream that because it is a long ass series. It, it, the game, those games can take a long ass time. The third, most of all, from what I've heard. But I have you played the, the first and second. Hmm? I, thought you, I thought you meant the series. Uh, yeah, Witcher, Witcher one, two, and three. We could put, we could stream that eventually, but we'd have to probably plan things out a bit. Since, yeah, there are consequences that shine through to the next games. Um, actually, I probably sh we probably shouldn't plan it too much, at least, because I don't want spoilers for Witcher 3, because I haven't actually played that one yet. I, I have played... I think I've played both. Um, both were fun, but goodness, the animation were rough. Yeah, especially in the first one. Yeah, especially when you met the supposedly hot gnome. Who looked like the older versions of Planet of the Ape. <laughs> and that's when I saw him, I thought, wait, is that a monkey man? <laughs> then I maybe mentioned he's a hot gnome, I just wait. Hot gnome? Is almost twice the size of me. Uh, at, at the very least, I believe there is an enhanced edition of the first game that should run and look better. I'm not too sure about the second. Yeah, and That's... I didn't finish either, but I got stuck. Okay. Then at least a part of the second one will be new for you. Yeah, but then for that one, the second one, I think, it was the one I got stuck extremely early on due to some bloody plants. Plants? Okay. okay. Yeah, some sort of angry mannequin plants. Okay, time for war again. Okay. So, Put the yeah, dogs down. We will probably have to check how long the Witcher games are, since, yeah, they are long and that would be quite a, quite a heavy amount of dedication. Yeah, probably around 40 hours each, and hello, is this a shortcut? Probably more, Helian, probably more. Okay, that is only, that is a way to get back down. Yeah, up. <laughs> Let's not get ourselves stuck again. For move, I thought you were to jump off the cliff there by accident. Uh, let's see, can we stand on this? No, we cannot. All right. Hmm. Uh, let's actually take a look this way. Okay, we are not wanted, it seems. The horsemen are rarely wanted by anyone in this universe. <laughs> okay. Up to war to beat... You know, to get rid of these. Okay. Now, what else are we going to find here? Because we are generally only looking for the... Oh. Moloch has made the most of his time here. Yeah, there's no quick way to do this. Yeah, we need to find this foreman. A wall this big always has something fun on the other side. I've seen it bigger. <laughs> I'm gonna leave that one alone. Okay. <laughs> what? Uh where the, what sort of walls have you been looking at, War? <laughs> Out, man. Okay, we get thrown off. Uh, Unless he missed the Chinese wall? Uh, I think that would probably be a bit smaller than this one here. At least in height, I presume. Hmm. Uh, whatever this is, it's of interest to us.
There we go. Boom! Is this the moment we do a heavy flame yoke? You are one, but we are many. Yeah, we'd Should be a bit late with that. Oops. Do we really have to kill him just for saying that? Sadly, yes, probably, Strife. There we go. Um, okay, we have a good amount on beam at the moment. We could go around trying to explore the place, find all the secret and stuff, but I think we're... Yeah, again, I think we're strong enough not to need to... to grind anymore. And again... Dagon kicked her ass a few times there. Yeah. At least until I sort to remind you to use healing potions. Yeah. <laughs> and have form. Oh. I'm sorry. Uh, it was called Anarchy form in this case, wasn't it? Uh, I think that is the accurate name, but yeah, the, the super form in any case. Uh, is there a reason why we're just shooting, please? Or are we just waiting for something? Up oh, there we go. No, oh, this was <laughs> this was optional, but oh well. We have more souls, more to buy within the hello. Okay, so this what? was huh? useful. Okay, what's the mark about? That's yeah, the activation button. Oh. Wait, I put up. Someone's late for work down there. <laughs> nope. I saw a hook. There's another. Okay. Oh, those are another way to get between those posts, I'm guessing. Alright. I missed. I misheard the, the mob there. I thought he shouted boo. <laughs> As he tried to jump scare you. Okay. I saw some goodies along the way there. And hello, there's another portal there. Likely for a shortcut somewhere to up here. Either way, let's just progress. I'm liking the music that they put up for this. I couldn't really hear the music of the last stage because Dagon just wouldn't shut his fishy trap up. <laughs> Wait. I don't think I have heard any bad songs from this game yet. Okay, that brought us all the way back here. <laughs> Alright. And what else can we find this way? Now, oh, hello. A one-way door. Or were we? Oh, uh, oh, come on. Another of you. I mean, sorry, we, we have at least more uh, area to run at. Yeah. Uh, this guy it, doc, this guy appeared earlier as a, an optional boss. And he was an absolute... Oh. Um. Okay. Well, so much for having enough room. <laughs> But he, he's almost dead. Hey, come on. There we go. Yeah, fresh meat, his own. Okay. That was another optional thing, it seems. Best in show. Okay, we probably could have guessed that the Houndmaster was around if we were, well, around here earlier. So let's just get out. Okay. Oh, some. Yeah, sealed off. What Do I even want to know what the hell shot those arrows? Yeah. Uh, what the heck is it that got shot? Is it a dragon? Uh, perhaps some sort of demon dragon. Hmm. Okay. Either way, back to look for the foreman to file our complaint. 
I think I just saw one of the smaller skulls have an entire yeah. massive arrow through see. its eyeball. Yeah. Okay, that's a hidden door, as obvious as can be. Question is where it would be activated. Yeah. Oh, it's one of those again. It looks dangerous, and let's do what we can to stop it. This looks optional as well, but we're here anyways, and we're already in the middle of a fight. I see what we need to do here. Let's go to the grapple thing. We grab ourselves a bomb. Plant it on there. Okay, I imagine <laughs> it actually goes around and around. Uh, let's see. Uh, sorry for being quiet, uh, chat. Uh, I have been here looking as I was uh, giving the house a quick vacuum, but I'm gonna have to shoot off now to, uh, to get the girls to bed. Uh, have a great stream. Thank you, and uh, no problem. Just... Uh, just having someone around, even in chat, being silent is nice. So, yeah, yeah. And good luck with the girls. Yeah, good luck with you girls. Uh, watch, make sure they don't hit you in the knees. <laughs> I'd love to see the look on Moloch's face now. Moloch's plans fail. Okay. Now, where is this freaking foreman then? I get, I think we were getting close, but then accidentally backtracked with the uh, chain. Or not the chain, but the, the chain platform. Uh, where are we even? There's a teleporter here. Uh, there it is. It's inactive though, so we need to find the other end. Yeah, just gotta roll and grab something. Okay. And yeah, we're back here now. Okay, it looks like Ruin is a bit being a bit picky as to where he can actually walk. Oh, hello. Okay. Back. Welcome back. And we will grab a Dutch pier. A, a Dutch what? <laughs> a Dutch peer conference. Yeah, okay. we, we get a little bit of fruit imported from Holland for some reason. <laughs> all right. Uh, could be because uh, yeah, all the greenhouses here. I live near a good bunch of them. How big of a greenhouse do you have to grow mass amount of peers? Um, is it peers or pears? Pears. Yeah. You're, you're saying pears. it in the du you're saying it in the uh, Swedish slash Dutch version, I think, <laughs> with P double E R. <laughs> when in Sweden we call pears as pärron, <laughs> with this special A with two dots over. Okay. In Dutch, it's uh, yeah, peer for single peren for uh, multiple. And let's first have Strive clear out the explosive barrels here. If we can get him unstuck. Yeah, for us is Paron for oh, one, there. and for several Parona. We accidentally blew something up there, I think. I think so too. Okay, these guys are pretty tough. Hmm. But yeah, they're armored champions. Of course, they're going to be tough. I just remembered something. I think it's what this is for. I actually had a, a, a pear drop on my head once. Okay. I was standing out in my own garden, and the biggest pear in the tree decided to fall right on my head. I was like... Oh. 10 or something when it happened? <laughs> I just felt... I totally dunked my head and I just felt like... What the hell was that? I looked next to me and saw a damn big pair and decided... Oh, that hit my head. 
Oh well, free pair. Uh, at least you didn't have to in in discover gravity. It's on the other side of this thing. Uh, wait. Um. Yeah. Strive, are you going to be talking to yourself? Let's break it and find out. <laughs> okay, usually Strife is on the right. Okay, that must be an interesting bug. <laughs> oh, oh, you again, and, huh? Don't forget. It's okay, he just chucks that thing out first. Oh dear. Forget. My aunt saw this happen and she had a good laugh, but... But she loved all she investigated uh, you know, I was alright. Yeah. Uh, yes, it was a damn big bear. Uh, there's a Dutch saying that might be a bit fitting, well not really, but it'll be funny at least. Uh, let's see how oh. to translate it. Uh, I'm, I'm forgetting the exact meaning of the figure of speech of it anyways. Uh, Uh, but yeah, the saying is uh, met de gebakken peren zitten, or to be left uh, to uh, sit or to be left with the baked pears. And if I remember correctly, the saying basically means to be uh, yeah, to be left similar to be left putting the bill or something. Wait, oh, what? <laughs> uh, uh, board is. <laughs> Okay, since when can you fly, War? <laughs> uh, and away with you, <laughs> right into all of the spinning death below. Yeah, we have got a lot of those uh, co mayo cores. Three more, mm. that one we just killed the X max level, I think. Yeah, I, I get the feeling we're going to... I get the feeling we'll see the bolt spitter a few more times. Yeah, and I still wonder if we're probably going to need to grind uh, or maybe... Well, hopefully not need to grind them, but... Something tells me it's going to probably be a good idea to have done some more grinding on the other maps, just in case. Uh, hopefully not, but we'll see if it gets to that. And let's see. Okay. Oh, bloody heck, the music! The music is really pumping up. Yeah, they, they sound like a, a prelude to war drums. There is war drums. Yeah, but uh, before they go all out, so to say, so to speak. And uh, there it is. Morlock's ambitions have grown. Lucifer has emboldened him. With the destruction of Samael's keep, he gains a foothold in hell. We still actually don't know much about Moloch. Other than that, uh, yeah. yeah, he has... <laughs> he has a... Uh, he has a beef with Samael. He'll be less of a go-getter once I put a few bullets in his thick skull. It unnerves me that Lucifer would meddle in the affairs of lesser demons. What does he gain from their squabbling? Well, if the... It's a simple stuff, really. If the people below you are infighting, then none of them can rise up to be a threat to you. Well, not sooner or later. True. There is a bigger plot on Yes, yes, our job. You say it all the time. We're horsemen. They'll answer for what they've done. Have you actually been listening? <laughs> Don't flatter yourself. I just want to put an end to Lucifer's plan so we can get on with things. Too late. I know you listened. <laughs> uh, now, how are we going to silence this thing? Ac actually, there's a... There's a portal over there, an entrance to a dungeon. Oh, okay, I get it. Uh, I thought they meant to go down, to go back down again, but no, we're getting down into the, the bowels of this thing. Down, down to Goblin Town. 
All right. Oh gosh, now I have another flashback. I, I seen a little bit of the old Hobbit cartoon. Look at all this fancy the what cartoon? It's kind of fun to watch, to be honest. Uh, as a, the old Hobbit cartoon or Lord of the Rings oh, cartoon. Oh, Hobbit. Okay. Yeah, I think it was more the Lord of the Ring one. Uh, for, as a kid, I didn't know what Lord of the Rings or the Hobbit was, so when I saw the trailer of the result, I was I thought it was a movie we over here over like the magic. <laughs> okay. Oh, here was about the magic two of all things, where they all must have halflings. Uh, uh, give me a few <laughs> seconds here. Uh, one oh four. There we go. What, what do you do? What are you doing? A uh, timer gone off. Let's see. Oh. You certainly could work on your discipline and focus. Sorry, what was that? <laughs> I do got to agree with uh, Strife that it can be quite fascinating to s just see big-ass machinations like this in work. Like yeah, uh, uh, clockwork and such. Uh, definitely. Uh, uh, I think that's kind of why many likes in the troop of having a... Uh, ...intro to clockwork and such running. <laughs> Though... I think I would probably go insane oh, due nice. to all the sound. Come on, come on down. What a disposable henchman! <laughs> Bloody heck! <laughs> yeah, Stripe is definitely easily becoming the favorite horseman. <laughs> Might as well top <laughs> off. <laughs> oh, and our secret, the chaos form is full again. Wonderful. Okay, you definitely don't want to just fall down somewhere here because you are getting crushed between oh, something. Okay, I did not plan on any of that. Whee! <laughs> Someone, man, you're kicking off. <laughs> and the first just got a bomb straight in the face and got knocked the hell back down. <laughs> yep. Earth in holy fire! <laughs> ah, there we go. Yep. Wait, what? Um, okay, I can grab enemies with that as well. Okay, come here and die. Okay, that that would have been very nice to find out earlier. Uh-oh. That would have helped uh, war getting close for combat a lot. <laughs> Actually, I probably should have expected that it would be, al be allowed... You know, that it would have a use in combat since... Well, most of the other things also have a use in combat, except for this one here, the Void Bomb. Whatever it was, Lucifer always comes out on top. Moloch must know what fate has in store for him, whether by our hands or Lucifer's. Don't worry. It'll be us knocking on his door long before Lucifer came. Perhaps we'll arrive at the same time, so I can wrap my hands around the book. I love how much you love ringing necks. <laughs> okay, was it just the other way? By the well. Oh, come on, that looks like a smiley here. Hmm. Wait, 
the heck? Do we need to bring a bomb all the way here? No, that can't be. We can't... We can't climb with a bomb. Hmm. No, we were... We're playing Frogger. <laughs> All right. I used, to, I used to play Frogger on Amiga. Um, but it makes me I... wonder... One. Now I, I recall I've played Frogger a, a a few times, but that was like decades ago. Yeah, same here. And now I sort of wonder, as I said, Amiga. I wonder how it would be in if a yeah, it's other consoles having the uh, falling off the wayside, like uh, Dreamcast continued, Amiga continued. And, and uh, uh, that's, that, that's more consoles, to say the least. Hmm. Nope. I think we've forgotten to swap to this one, the vampiric one. Okay. Uh, but I know that there's an entire genre of uh, indie games that is basically just making games as if they were uh yeah on the old consoles and such like uh, oh, yeah, playstation really cool. horse is a whole thing that i do recall nope. radstone uh, for rocks or, no, i use more wood wing, right. like just let's say it is the sega like if sega the company continue making consoles to this day Okay, so what they would have been up to, or what they would have made. Yeah, like, would the game market look extremely different or not? Hmm. A good question. But, yeah, the Sega Jaguar basically killed uh, their chances of uh, staying in the console market. Yeah, they were, they were going to release a more powerful console, but they were keeping its Jaguar alive as long as possible. This Even though it didn't really work at all. In the long end. Wait, what? The, the Jaguar, to my knowledge, it didn't work at all. Yeah. It, it became... It, it looked like a toilet after a while. Uh, no. Holy... There was another concept I know that people, it was very really powerful. Probably it was also very overpriced. Radio's console. Because I also oh, think it's the same company that made Heroes Mighty Magic, the first ones. Okay. Like, it was a powerful console. Probably it's, it cost. It was basically cost like, cost like two, three times more than a regular console. It was almost cost more than a computer back then. Yeah, that, there is a reason that most, uh, uh, or maybe not most. I, I know that with one of the uh, with one of their consoles, I think it was Sony who, that they sold them at a loss, and but they would have gain, they would run a profit on the games but that that helped them get the consoles out a lot uh, better and a lot more have a lot more customers to sell the games to um i i think it was maybe the playstation 4 that they did that with i'm not entirely sure that was sure i believe it well. was them it, it, okay at least i didn't reset everything yeah uh, I think 3DO, 3DO's console will go well if they haven't overpriced the console too much. Like, sure, it was powerful. But was this... But the power is, is kind of useless if no one can buy it. Yeah. You need a uh, customer this... base to actually make a profit on. Yeah, well, some, some games worked extremely well on it. Again. You're not selling games to it so much if, if, if no one affords the console to begin with. Start. 
Let's see if our intuition was correct. Hmm. Oh. Didn't look like we got a core from that. Okay, to have... <laughs> That's a bit of a design, to have the main shaft of your factory also act as an elevator. Let's return to the surface. The blades have stopped. Yep. I love vandalizing demon junk. <laughs> to the foreman. Death. <laughs> you Samael's guy? Samael is a pissant compared to Lord Moloch. Ooh, well, I'm gonna tell him you said that. Grind you up, Runt. Horse meat is Moloch's favorite. I'm gonna kill you just for making easy horse jumps. <laughs> uh, I, Ow. I, I have a feeling that too many demons has made that joke. Yeah. I believe one in the very start even made it. Yeah. I started with the damn intro. Now, yeah. Okay. Ow. Okay, what's the deal? Do we just need to ignore the others? Legion Shield Bearer. Uh, yeah, shields are always going to be a freaking pain in the ass. Oh, oh, come on. Is he really only going, going to shoot at one spot? Okay. What do we do? We just need to shoot him. Hmm. Hmm. Do we need to lure him over or something? I'm not sure. We can't climb. I'm guessing we just need to deal with the father for now. Uh, oh, yeah. No. Wait, we can climb. Uh, no, the spikes are out. Next to the spikes. There's another path there. It uh, looks like. Oh, uh, nope. oh wait, it's just, it's just a metal bar. Yeah. Okay, now seriously, what do we do? Oh, ah, there we go. I mean, so bro. we did just have to deal with his <laughs> with his uh, minions first. Okay. Oh, it's a shield! Oh, uh, oh what the damn thing? It was a drill! Okay, now he's coming out to play. And luckily enough, he's slow as all hell, it seems. Uh, no, you should not have stood against us. You still got it. I didn't even notice that he died. <laughs> Who did I? <laughs> All right. Yeah, missed quite a lot of stuff, but yeah, we can come back for that some other time. For now, we are done with the foreman. The horsemen have disrupted Moloch's mining operation and defeated the foreman. Only three missions left. The quest. My question is, are we actually going, or at least three missions left? My question is, are we going to? Yeah, uh, going. Are we going to have a shot at Lucifer himself? As well. You return. I will say the. He called you a pissant, the foreman. Really wasn't impressed at all. Just adds up. <laughs> Strive. What did you say? <laughs> Sorry, I just promised the foreman I'd tell you what he said. Right before we ripped his innards out. Anyway, continue. Take care with your quips, little one. When we conclude our business, you could either be within my favor or without. 
Considering how we left Moloch's precious mining gig, mostly at your request, we sure as hell better be in your favor. Moloch will struggle to recover, this is true, but he is still alive after all. We must finish him. Yeah, you're no Shao Kahn, uh, Samael. You said he was nigh invincible, isn't that still a problem? Lucifer's gift to Moloch. I could sense it when we battled. Something gave him strength unending. Impossible recovery. It could only be a blood mantle. That sounds bad. Those were thought lost to the ages. How could anyone, even Lucifer, create one? And then, why give it to Moloch? To enter the mind of Lucifer is to enter madness. Regardless, Moloch possesses one. And destroying Ooh. it is the final move we must make before striking. Uh, thank you for the follow, Real Nin. Uh, or the Real Nin, uh, however you pronounce that. <laughs> and anyways, thank you for the follow. Uh, hope you're enjoying the stream. And uh, yeah, <laughs> hope we won't bore you. Hello, uh, welcome, lad. Olas. His armory is the only sane place to keep such an important artifact. With his reinforcements in disarray. Again, you're welcome. He can't defend it, so you must act quickly. Okay, and then can we finally kill that smug son of a bitch? <laughs> Of course. That sounds so pleasing. I might attend the battle myself. That would be interesting. A final boss where Samael himself <laughs> enters the fields. Oh, what a treat. <laughs> Why just attain? Don't you want to get a few hits in yourself? My reasons for staying out of the conflict are my own. And conveniently, dealing with the threat of Lucifer was your mission. Given by the council, was it not? Uh, let's see. Real name in chat. Uh, hey, I uh, hope you had a yeah, hope you're having a good day. <laughs> good time. Most people say good day, so it's automatic <laughs> sort of autopilots from there. Is it? Uh, hope you're having a good day. How's your uh, How's your guys' day? Uh, it went pretty well, let's say. A bit rather quiet, but that doesn't have to mean bad. Uh, how's your day been? Um. Um, my day been fine. And I, I meant really names, but also good. Yeah, but they, they did ask us both, didn't they? True. Uh, anyways. And so, you have very little choice. What we do, we do for the balance, not for you. However you might twist it in your mind. Like Lucifer's. Mine is a mind you don't want to enter, horseman. <laughs> Do enjoy your latest task. Yeah, I can see why War and Samael did not agree at all in the first Darksiders game. Because again, this one takes place in front of all the other ones. Because with every game, <laughs> uh, it's a bit funny with this series. The the later the game is in the series, the earlier in the timeline it is. Almost kind of yeah. And yeah. the answers before War did have an interesting reaction when he saw Samia. Like he they have met each other before. Yeah. Um. I'm guessing they didn't have this game planned out when they started, but uh, let's see. Uh, really name in chat. So I'm good doing some Minecraft while watching you guys. Okay, enjoy. Aww, <laughs> oh sweet. War machine. Just uh, one of three creepers. Yeah, I've I've been having to deal with those myself uh, on the the Minecraft server that I joined recently. Keep your cat near you for the afraid of cats. Yeah. Let's see. The horsemen enter the occupied Blackstone Keep uh, through a secret entrance. Moloch must be stopped and the balance upheld. 
All right, one new creature that we can find here. And I saw a familiar creature, a mini boss. Do we probably get? I prefer a frontal assault. Yeah, go on. I would say I think that is a familiar boss that I think is the your favorite, the ruling pin. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, give me a moment here. I think I'm seeing something a bit off on the stream. Let's put that up there. Ah, uh, yeah, the chat box is off still. Uh, give me a moment whilst I try to fix that. Uh, what is... Okay, that box. What the hell was that other one that wait, I have selected wait. there? Do you want us to give it or give it? <laughs> yeah, just, just give me a moment. Yeah, just G-I-V-E G -I -V -E a moment. Yeah, because you I said give this. earlier. <laughs> I never and I never said that my yeah, English was supposed to be perfect. Um, let's see. Back that should, be, should be that should come out better next time. There's a long message. Okay, just slowly but surely polishing this stone into something is a bit shiny. I bet you do. Don't worry. Something tells me there will be plenty of demons to kill. And see where are you both from? Uh, I'm from the Netherlands, and Drakir here is Swedish. Correct. Do I do have Dutch blood in me? Okay. And it is also a bit suspected that there was uh, at least some Viking uh, blood in my bloodline. <laughs> uh, let's see. Don't worry. Something. There we go. Uh, is there anything we can buy new from these? No, oh, we have well, plenty of uh, souls. Well, yeah, yeah, you do know the ancient Netherlands had the same gods as Scandinavia. Yeah. Uh, let's see. A vessel of the Undying automatically uses an available health potion where you take fatal damage. Okay. Uh, we do have enough coins for that, uh, even though it's red, made red out there. Uh, we don't have enough souls, though. Yeah, that's definitely a that's definitely one to go for though, and we yeah. have no reason okay. to buy course. Just that alone makes it feel like it's gonna be worth grinding. Yeah, for let's not do let's let's try to avoid grinding, uh, for the moment at least. And yeah, maybe we can get enough through quests and such. Uh, not at the yeah, moment true. at least. But yeah, definitely something worth saving up for because just a, a save, yeah, uh, a fail save like that is always useful. Uh, then again, we have been abusing the revive system a bit here and there to uh, yeah, just to get to ha have one of the horsemen die, and then just wait out the timer so they get healed to half health again. And. Oh, hello. Okay. Easy enough to see where this is for, come on. Damn, this music is good. Yeah, I, it, it is really like a tribal war beat. Hello? Uh, I, wait, oh no. Oh no. I'm bumping mm -hmm. my head to it. <laughs> uh. There's some music that may make me instinctively want to move, like Irish music. Some Irish music makes me want to just start swing a little bit. Not full dance, but kind of swing along to it. <laughs> and this uh. makes me head bop. Okay, I see what we need to do. There. Uh, oh, wrong weapon. Up we go. And there. <laughs> like, I, I, that's right. I think next time I play to the War Warhammer, I'm turning this music on. <laughs> Perfect music to listen to when you want to kill some demon chaos. <laughs> there we go. Gates open. And those fleas are going to have a, 
a bad day. Yeah, wait. You know, there were close of hmm? If they are fleas, how big is the cat or dog? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, 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 I'm, <laughs> I, I'm going to, I'm going to find that, yeah, I'm going to find that audio clip and use it for raids. <laughs> Surprise, fools! <laughs> Caught me off guard. <laughs> uh. <laughs> These weapons, it would put our enemies at a severe disadvantage if we were to disable them. Oh, <laughs> I swear, the voice actor for Strife is having a lot of fun. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I appreciate your comments. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> okay, another open bridge. We need to close. Uh, but yeah, <clears throat> now, I've said this multiple times already. But uh, yeah, Stripe's voice actor is really one of the come on, Stripe, keep going the right way. I was, I was moving the stick in the same direction there, and he went opposite ways. Uh, Stripe's voice actor. You know, his voice acting and his writing is just one of the highlights of this game for certain. That definitely helped me through, well, getting it through the first part of this when <laughs> I wasn't getting into it as much. Uh, oh dear. He's definitely the, he's definitely the most quotable of the horsemen so far. Oh, easy. Easily. Uh, hello, welcoming party. Enthusiasm or stupidity. Uh, you can, you know, another League of Legends player among the ranks. <laughs> Uh, enthusiasm or stupidity? You choose which. <laughs> Boop. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Oh dear. Uh, if, if Dark Souls 4 is with just one of the horsemen, then I really hope they get whoever did the writing for him. He, if, if Dark Souls 4 is only with Strife, like it's been similar with the other games, I really hope they get the same voice actor on writing for this. You know, for it. <laughs> what? Mm, this, is, no, this is a spin-off game. No. Yeah. Oh, and hello four again. will be about strife, or it will be about all four horsemen. Okay, then <laughs> we decided that suicide was a better option than facing us. Oh dear. Uh, why? Why did the health bar of the legions bolt spirit just vanish as well? Did they? Did he just make the same decision or something? Uh. Okay. Oh dear. Um. Oh. Hmm. All right. For a moment, I thought we were back. Uh, we were backtracking or something. And okay, we cannot climb up that. Yep. Come on. There we go. Hmm. Um, anyways, this is a bit late, uh, uh, really in, but, uh, yeah. Oh. Lay down your lives for our lord! I want the horsemen's heads on a spike! Moloch will rule hell! 
glory will be ours. Follow orders, you worthless tricks. Move. Uh, let's interrupt these first, but uh, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, since you asked us, uh, would you mind telling uh, where you might be from? Uh, you don't need to, of course, if you want to keep that private. Let's see. Yep, Germany, okay. I, I have a few friends there. Yeah, same here. Okay. Yeah, but yeah, I, have, I have many German, especially many Dutch <laughs> friends. Yep. Wrong. Uh, oh, uh, give me a moment whilst I deal with these fools. It's got kind of bit I don't know much Dutch to begin with, but I do know there's enough words for me to sort of understand Dutch. So yeah, the Germanic languages have a lot of overlay. Yep, and apparently I hear Dutch have many words from Scandinavia and English. Yeah, we also spell... <laughs> uh, you were the one who made a mistake this time, War, in falling to your death. <laughs> But what do you have to say? Uh, yeah, the Dutch have also stolen another a lot of words from the English <laughs> and French. I think Sweden did as well, like sofa. <laughs> sofa is what we say. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll finish this one off, then I'll check chat again. Uh, have we seen... Yes, yes. Have we seen... Uh, let, let's check anyway, so... Uh, spin to win again? <laughs> uh, right, is this a new yeah, one? He's... Maybe. Right. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> nice! Uh, anyway, let's see. Uh, ta -ta -ta -ta. I think I would enjoy streaming this game. Uh, I'd, I'd say definitely give it a try because, yes, strife and war, just their bickering between each other is fun on its own. Uh, the game is pretty tough though, even on the casual setting, so you'll probably want to complete each mission as much as you can just to get the to get them as strong as possible. Because, yeah, we had to... We, we basically... We spent like five hours grinding through those to... Well, get our character, get them up to the strength that they are now. About and let's hey, see. I saw something there. Bring up the quest again. Uh, find the phylactery's fault. Phylactery. Are we going to be dealing with liches now as well? Morlocks. Phyla he is a lich. Okay. And he let's see. Oh wait, okay. no, we're not getting too loud now. Uh, not on to me, my end, at least. Uh, stream, I'm Are not so good? sure about. Uh, let's see. Uh, right next to the Netherlands border. Uh, let's see. Dutch, German, Swedish. Yeah, put all drunk together and everyone understands each other. <laughs> <laughs> uh, on ways you might never have expected and never probably would, would have wanted. <laughs> oh, dear. Luckily, me and the Helian here are... Quite the sober boys. Yep. Yep. <laughs> and I take into it the back. He goes. A drunkard. I take it back. Hillian is a drunkard. There we That's go. This time here. Boy, then. <laughs> Oop, and now he's ganging up the gears. <laughs> I see something we need. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Health. Actually, time for a war to go on the war path. There we go. All right. Yep. You're just going. <laughs> I was going to say you were just going to stand there, but no, he's going to blow himself up. <laughs> I think I know the perfect meme for him, what, for what just happened. 
In freeze, uh, freeze frame. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was at this moment he knew he fucked up. Uh, hello there. Oh no, now I flash back for a very interesting oh, video I saw about a while ago on YouTube. Why did you have to go and make it weird? <laughs> uh, it's a video mm. about uh, things uh, that they had dis discovered from battles between dinosaurs that some even did survive, surprisingly. And there's a confirmed fossil of an Allosaurus that survived something terrible. Uh, what then? A tagomizer to the groin. Yeah. <laughs> For those who don't know, tagomizer is a spike on a Stegosaurus tail. <laughs> but... <laughs> we basically managed to find one gap there. <laughs> oh dear. But yeah, basically. And that was all survived having its groin impaled. <laughs> and when I saw the video, they of course did the whole meme of that was just the moment he knew he fucked up. <laughs> so that image is stuck mm. in my head. So I, uh, I feel sorry for that that I'm dinosaur. Uh. And if you wonder how they knew it got hit, got impaled, it was still yeah. visible on the bones. Yeah, okay. <laughs> oh, some more fodder to the slaughter. Oh, a lot more fodder. But I still need some uh, red barrels of cola. Oh, green. That's probably a bad nickname for the red barrels, ain't it? <laughs> yeah. Let's get this. Be right and ready for this uh, brawl. Oh, I might dear. actually swap back to being there. Uh, love on the second. Okay, here we go. Oh, where did you come from? Oh, they, they probably jumped over. Okay. Here. Right, time to steal Leo's yoke. <laughs> Cut on IO. Oh, wait, that bloody I failed in doing the yoke. <laughs> and off uh, the cliff it goes. Okay, I'm pretty sure I missed some of these structures. Oh. Oh, I, I say that and I finish it. Uh, achievement unlocked demolition derby. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I should look if there's a way to display achievements like that on the on the stream. I think there should be. I I think I've seen somewhere on Twitch that it would oh allow you to link your Steam to it or something. And uh, I'm not entirely sure. I'll, I'll just have to look that up. For now, let's just. Uh, oh. Kamehameha, this one's a death. There we go. There yeah. we go. Uh, some more fleas spawning. Okay, that opened up, but we can't actually go down. Hello. That's a limbo chest. Let's see. Flame Legion. And oh, demonic geomancer, nor Wait. health and wrath. Look, do you see his face? Uh, yeah. Oop, 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 oop. I think it's uh. I think it's a upgraded version of the the ones you've been calling monks. Yeah, the uh, demonic mages. Uh, let's see. Yeah, you're using knobs and playing on PC? Uh, not sure what you mean with that, but I am playing on PC using a controller. 
Um, is there anywhere that... How do we get back up from here? <laughs> uh, good question. Yeah, here. Okay, it's not really a useful area, or did I just completely miss something? Ah, well. Back to bashing demons, and seeing what the hell will happen here. Oh, okay, didn't even know you could get on top of them. Uh, oh, OBS, yes, I'm using OBS. Oh. Seems we're a bit late to this party. Oh, we're out of beam. Yep. Okay. But where is forces? Then... What now, then? Still need to find that vault. It's... Oh, hello. Oh, okay. <laughs> Boomerang bombs. Okay. I would say uh, bouncy bombs. Uh oh. Yeah, lightning's hot streak version is a bit unimpressive. Yep. There we go. Off with the head. And give me that. Armored Legion champion. Yep. And it's a minor core. Hmm. Uh, it's, not, it's not a mini boss or anything like such. Now, where the hell do we need to go? Hmm. Cargo That's bay. Yep. Oh, I, we need to get that uh, drawbridge down. Hmm. But how do we get it down? And even more. Hey, come on, this is getting annoying now. Wait, uh, can I bring up the map? Now, there's an area over here still that we haven't reached. And we haven't gotten most Might of the stuff. Might be what we're looking for. Hmm. Or is this just... No, we already got an achievement. Good enough. Or some... Hmm. Okay, how do we get over there? There we go. And down we go. <laughs> okay, let me just take a check. No, that's just a wall. Okay, how... Are we just supposed to kill off every demon over there until they bring that back up or something? Maybe it's hmm. a switch over there? No, I didn't but see it, any it, switches. There seem, there seem to be some things over there. Uh, over where? If you're pointing at the screen, that's a bit uh, I'm <laughs> not, not working. Not pointing. I'm not pointing at the screen for once. Yes, it has happened people I point at a screen. <laughs> Uh, hmm. Let's see if we can bring up the map. In a moment, I'll deal with these first. Still tough as on hell with these. Oh, there we go. So we really did just need to kill all of them. Keep fighting. We will drown Moloch in a river of blood if need be. Damn word! Where have you been? <laughs> it's happy. Oh. He's really happy. Uh oh. Okay. Uh oh. Bye bye. <laughs> Sanctum. Nope. Of that gun smoke. 
Wait. This is it. The secret of Moloch's power. Alright. Let's get our potion stack filled up then. Here we go. Any last things that we can buy here? Uh, actually, no, we're saving up for that 50,000. Oh, oh hello. What mantle? You think it'd be more heavily guarded? Disappointed, brother. I'll get over it. Let's ruin Moloch's death. Hmm. Uh, here comes the security. It seems there will be violence after all. This makes a lot more sense. <laughs> I'm, oh, there's more of those um, demon magi or their upgraded version. It, it's protecting, it's sealing it. Okay. Oh. Nope. Okay, now we're getting this as well then, huh? Now, I'm guessing they're immortal as long as they have that circle around them. Maybe. Hmm. Oh. Yep. I think I avoided damage there. Uh, let's see. I, I see something in chat again, but I'll just focus on this for a bit more. Oh, hello. Plumbade monkey. Can I? Yes, I can. Up and boom. <laughs> there we go. Okay, let's not stand in that. And yeah, ow. I'm going to save up the super form for the next boss, whatever level that. I'm guessing after this we're going after Moloch. And I presume that they're not going to make that easy on us. Okay. There we go. Yep, yeah, that's the <laughs> gravity gun again. Bye bye. Okay, now what to do with this giant ass uh, jawbreaker? Oop, before I miss this. No more blood mantle. Guess it's lost to the ages again. Hmm. Hopefully this time yep. for good. And Yo, those goons goons again. Yeah. It means goose may be useful soon. <clears throat> Probably already are at this point, but let's see. Uh, really name and chat again. On the game capture you do for Darksiders in the properties should be a checkbox for overlays which should enable the Steam achievements. Okay, uh, let me take a quick peek at that. Uh, let's see, main week, properties. Uh, ta -ta -ta -ta. Let's see. Capture specific window, window, window match priority. Um, hmm. Let's see. To the, to the game capture properties. I'm not actually seeing that here, I think. Um, window title must match, match title, otherwise, find the same. Hmm. Let's see, it's only if you use a game capture. This is a game capture, yes? Might be a, a plugin that I don't have installed or something. Yeah, I'll look into it more after this stream. We still have 15 minutes. Let's see. The horsemen have destroyed Moloch's blood mantle. All right. So my guess is that the next one will be going after Moloch himself. Volgrim has new stuff. New item. Ooh. All right. Moloch is no longer protected by Lucifer's blood mantle. He is ours. A 
excellent horseman. With his war camp in ruins and his troubling magic eliminated, you have a fair chance of besting him. It won't come down to chance. Moloch's finished, just like the rest. I will join you. He will be heavily guarded, and besides, I wish to see the look on his twisted <laughs> face when he breathes his last. Yeah, of course. Since our first encounter with Moloch, I have longed for this moment. We ready then? I'll see you there. Okay, so maybe there isn't a 17th mission? Bossman. Welcome. Yeah, more brass stones. We have more than enough of those. So, this might be the finale then. Okay. Sure. But we can at least give it a try. Yeah. Moloch. The horseman must face the demon master Moloch uh, and find out how he is involved in Lucifer's scheme. Hmm. All right. Hold fast, brother. You, you ever get tired of endlessly slaughtering hordes and hordes of demons? No. Yeah, me neither. What is <laughs> that? That's a dramatic entrance. Say what you want about Samael, but damn. Does he know how to make an entrance? <laughs> Gentlemen, up to you. Okay, just skipping all of the Horseman, father. Samuel, you saved me the trouble of hunting you down. Wait. If you weren't such thorns in my side, I'd almost be impressed. Moloch, with your blood mantle destroyed, you can no longer hide behind Lucifer's dark magic. Now you'll tell us the truth of his plan, and then you bleed. Brave words. I'll enjoy making you choke on them while my army watches. Then all will know of Moloch's superiority. This is your fight, horseman. I'll simply enjoy the view. Am I out? I've been waiting for this moment. There will be no mercy. Come, horseman. I will enjoy cutting you down. I re I think I recognize the voice actor. It's the same guy as uh, Captain Anderson in Mass Effect and other places. But you'll find I am in another class. Yeah, I, I keep forgetting his freaking name. But he hey, he's been popping up more and more recently. Well? I will cut you down. Uh, I think I heard the voice actor from older games. Yeah, he's been in Saints Row as well. Uh, okay, you really like to get up close and personal, don't you? Okay. Uh, so far, you're only giving names of games I not played. <laughs> Do you really think you win? Uh, yes. Your defeat is inevitable. I I keep forgetting his freaking name. Oop. Do get on with it. <laughs> this is no time for the get on with it meme, Samael. <laughs> and if you want to get on with it, come down here and deal with it yourself. Okay. Stop being a backseat fighter, <laughs> Samael. If I see you up there with a fucking bag of popcorn, your head is coming off next. And, <laughs> and you can see his shadow over there. Right? Oh, it, it, it's changed color. Oh. Too slow. 
There, you're not Sonic, so shut up. Oh, okay, I was a bit too close there. Um. Nope. Keep a bit of distance. Keep to do this all day? <laughs> I have no equal. Okay, if I shatter them early, they probably won't explode. Uh, but yeah, he also does the voice of the uh, the king in Amphibia. Oh, yeah. You're right. You're damn right. Oh dear. Okay, over halfway there. Bone. Oh, ow. Okay, that was about half of our health. Yeah, you don't pay us, so no. Do they even get paid? Uh, okay, thank you for just taking it. Also, uh, have that. Ow. Just in time. <laughs> okay. Ow. Oh, come on. It, and there we go. All right, uh, let's see, da, da, da. the exact name of the option is Capture Third Party Overlay. I'll definitely keep an eye out for that. Hold fast, brother. You may have defeated lesser demons, but you'll find I am in another class. On your feet. Hmm. Okay, this fight is looking to be a lot more like the other games in that we really have to keep an eye out for uh, his attacks and dodge them. Hmm. If need be, we might need to oh, buy a few more of Polgram's potion upgrades. And really we haven't we have an entire freaking audience. Yeah, if this is up, I definitely say grinding for the remaining souls for that special uh, potion upgrade. Yeah, it might be a bit of a detriment though since, well, I did mention it earlier that uh, we've been kind of abusing the respawn. And if that would reuse up our potions all the time, uh, yeah, we'd be out of healing pretty quick. Uh, for now Ooh. though, I'll uh, that's kind of true. That's kind of true. Okay, first off, that. So you'll start dropping those. There we go. Ow. Right. Ah, uh, I missed that. Okay, for that. Wait. What is it actually adding to? I'm not seeing... I'm not seeing the health go up, actually. Or am I just missing that completely? Hmm. Well, now I realize we have a group helping us. Yeah, that is one of the uh, the cores. And seriously, what? <laughs> what, is, what are these adding to? I'm not seeing what they are filling up. Well, they are healing you, but they're healing you extremely little. Okay, makes sense in, well, balancing.
Uh, you're not getting that at least, <laughs> because this is taking freaking forever. Okay, I thought he was doing something else. He, I, th I thought he was doing uh, that. Okay, this voice actor knows how to sound uh, intimidating, yeah. yeah. Ow. Nope. Let's not walk through the fire. Nope. Nope. Yeah, I'd rather run and jump. Oh, yeah. or <laughs> explode. Oop. Okay, immediately stone skin. Up and oh, move, move. No, that would have been a kill shot. Ah, no, oh, come on. Hmm. All right. Grab this. Not that I think it will help. Actually, any ammo that we are low on would help. It also fills up the. The overflow a bit. Okay, no rodstone, no upgrades. That's what we want. Potion uses. Yeah. Then how much it heals? Actually, we can get another on both of those. <laughs> and we still haven't used <clears throat> that synergy I move. I feel like we should have bought this before we grab the chest. Yeah, there's still a potion drop over there, so we can fill that one up. As uh, if help, help free again. Might as well. And that's about everything for all of the souls that we had. <laughs> okay, um, we are almost at two hours. I say we give this one more shot. If we fail again, then... Yep. Yeah, keep your commentary to yourself, Samael. One more shot. Then uh, we'll, uh, we'll give up for next time. And yeah, then we'll go grinding to be as strong as possible to face this. <laughs> this big boy. Luckily, his freaking dragon isn't here. Or dragon, not dragon. How did I mess that up? I'm sure we have a dragon here, right? No, no. He rooted so. them holo fiend. Now you're the one chasing me. Shall we continue? I have no equal. I'm going to save the potions for when one of the horsemen is regenerating. Okay, come on. Up too early. Uh, so should I play the games in reverse? Uh, no, there's... Uh, there's things that are revealed in later games that are that give more context to things in the earlier ones. Uh, yeah, I, I guess you could play them in reverse order and still get quite a bit out of it. Um, yeah, the, the normal ver the normal order would be what I would advise. Same. It kind of makes it a bit more understandable and more. Can we understanding and trying to free rest the mystery as well? I have no equal. Oh. Uh, let's get rid of that. Ah, too early. Not yet. Well, we've been bested twice already so far. There we go.
It's getting dangerous to have death. Exactly for that reason. No thanks. There we go. I, I had a feeling he would go for that. Uh, okay, just just stand there and enjoy this. <laughs> Up. Okay, almost Over halfway here. there. Just hope he doesn't have any more bricks up his sleeve. On your feet. Don't think that's actually doing much, but oh well. Oh, quick. Yeah, before he explodes those in our face. Tremble before the master. He's beneath you. Uh, how are we in ammo? Uh, th th that Charge was a fitting shot. comment. Who? My rage unleashed. Who? Okay, I'm getting the timing on his attacks a better here now. Okay. Okay, I was expecting him to pop up more there. Okay, I don't think he has many more new tricks up his sleeve. Oh. Ah. And then, of course, we get smacked. <laughs> Okay. We can dodge around a bit. There comes swi and swings. Yep. Okay. Still lived long enough. Oh. Are you going to do this all day? Shut up, Samuel. Oop. Okay, yeah, I think he's out of new tricks. Oh, 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 get away from that. I cannot be defeated. Yeah, shut up, you're Oh and I'm out of beam, of course. Ow. Your defeat is inevitable. Don't go by tricks. Oh. Oh, that is a new move. And that was a miss. Yep. Okay, these attacks are of his are actually more predictable. Too slow. I just think we can actually nope. We might actually be able to just finish this with a standard shot. Okay. You must stay alive, find somewhere safe. <laughs> Shall we continue? Wait. Okay. Will Havoc form help? Or where should uh, we save for the final boss? I, I think he is the final boss. I was promised victory. Your blade is no match for mine. There we go. Go on, horseman. Cut off his miserable head. You've played right into his hands, horseman. I tire of demons and their threats. There are no more threats to make. Lucifer's plan is complete. Uh, complete? How? 
You should be wary of the company you keep. Isn't that right, Samael? Have you uh, told them? That anime? would not shut up. Yeah. Who knows what he might have said next? I think you do, Samael. What is the animus? What are you hiding? I suppose I owe you the truth, but not here. Quickly, through the portal. Okay, so this might not be the end after all. Oh, okay, health, attack power, and wrath power. Yeah, we're putting that one on. For now, though, what is this animus? And what have you tricked us into, Samael? Hmm. Uh, yeah, we're, we're a bit over time, but we can take this. So if there are any missions after this, uh, yeah, that'll just have to be for next week then. Samael, you've been lying to us this whole time. Nonsense. I simply omitted some inconvenient truths. But I will tell you now everything I know. A small penance to repay your service to me. This better be a short story. After the Nebulon were destroyed, Lilith came to me. Lilith! Of course she'd have some hand in this. She was mad with grief. Seeking my aid in orchestrating vengeance upon the council against you, horsemen, for your part. Most of all, against the humans which fled Eden, who Lilith believed to be unfairly favored above all others. And you came. I turned her away. I respect the balance after all. And I'd rather not have the council meddling in my affairs. A lesson which, to my great enjoyment, my rivals have learned with amusing finality. All save one. Now, I think, I think Samuel doesn't give a damn about the balance one bit. He's just smarter in playing around with it so that he doesn't get caught. created the Animus to corrupt mankind. The Animus is a dark, seductive influence filled with malice and greed. To fuel the Animus, Lucifer struck a deal with the Masters, granting each of them power at a heavy price. The fools agreed, believing they would be invincible. He made the same offer to me. <laughs> Can you imagine the nerve? What was the price, Samael? Their souls. Yeah, of course. Deal with the devil is always going to involve sales, eh? <laughs> oh dear. And uh, you really name in chat, Adamus. Games change slowly into Assassin's Creed. <laughs> to be claimed. <laughs> Yeah, so we've we've been powering this animus the whole time. This whole time we've been helping Lucifer, and you knew, Samael. What have you done? My hands are clean, Horseman. You acted on the Council's orders, not mine. I simply set you on your course. Can you blame me for wanting to see my rivals dead along the way? You will answer for this. Another time, perhaps. I promised you Lucifer, and I will send you to him, if you wish. But there is something you must know. Moloch spoke true, for perhaps the first time in his miserable life. Lucifer's work is done. He has found humanity's new homeworld, Earth. You 
using the Animus. He has corrupted them. You will find them changed. Send us to Earth. Farewell, horseman. It has been a pleasure. And it, no, in this world, Samael and Lucifer are not the same character. I think in some worlds and mythologies they are, but not in this one. As far as we know, at least. Okay. Uh, let's have a look, at least. Oh. oh. What now? Humanity's fate is for the Council to decide. Not us. We helped Lucifer create this. Impressive, aren't they? Speak what? of the devil. The life these creatures knew before was meaningless. Whispering stories into the fire. Searching the stars for answers to their pathetic existence. I am the answer. See how quickly they adapt? Now that their eyes are open, they feel everything their creator denied them. Fear, hatred, lust. Perhaps now, they will create a third kingdom to be reckoned with. How far has it spread? By now, who can say? Will you kill us all, to be sure? Run, boy. As far from the village as you can. So in the end, Lucifer won all the same. Oh! Ugh. That was unexpected. And that still leaves Lucifer unrevealed. Hmm. No. No in this game. They would be all awesome. uh, There yeah, there'll probably be an after credit scene and wait, lead programmer DJ Hirko? Or DJ Hirko? Okay, I'm I'm presuming DJ stands for two first names and <laughs> Uh, Baldi Konijn. Yeah, I guess that's how you speak it in Dutch. So Konijn would probably be the English version of it, or English pronunciation for lead concept artist. Hmm. I must say, I I wasn't particularly fond of this game at the start. Uh, in part, probably because I had over uh, hyped myself a bit. I thought we, I, I thought this would be more of a dungeon crawler type game. Uh, where we could possibly play as all four of the horsemen. And yeah, it turns out only two were available. But I have to say, I... I did... I, I did really like it. And uh, let's see. Music composer Garrett Poker. Okay. I might look him... Uh, I might look that name up for other stuff he's made then. But solo wins and death flutes? <laughs> Okay. What? Oh, and choir producer and consultant George and Georgie. That totally wouldn't have led to uh, some <laughs> some confusions at some point. <laughs> but yeah, Friedman. Definitely still a fun game, even if it's not my typical thing. And here we have the voice talent. Liam O'Brien still has war, doing quite a good job. Chris Jai Ayla, Alex for Strife. Uh, Samuel Vernon Wells still. And yeah, Phil Lamar for Volgrim. Dees Kimberly Herbert Gregory. Troy Baker for Abaddon. And actually, we didn't actually get to see how he lost his eye. Uh, Andre Soglioso or something like that. Corrupt Angel, Houndmaster, and the Dreadwalker boss. Uh, the Dread Walker as Nephilim Armin Taylor, uh, Jeremy Lee as Nephilim Champion, and Lucifer as the Child. 
Moloch, Ke Keith David, Keith David, that's the name I keep freaking forgetting. Uh, Friday Wolf, Astarte, Belial, Fred, Darren the Paul, Dagon, uh, Angry Head. Uh, okay. Wicked Killington? <laughs> Who the hell is Wicked Killington? No idea. Might be some hidden boss somewhere. <laughs> well, yeah, I guess. Yeah, I guess it was wrong then. Uh, I, I didn't. I did a quick search as to see how many levels this game had, and what I it said that it would have 17. Maybe there's an extra level for like if we find special things or something. But yeah, for now I'd say yeah. We've done what we have done with this game. Hmm. So that means that next week... Uh, actually, next week uh, I'll be starting with a new job, so I'll have to see about needing to... <laughs> uh, I'll need to see about uh, possibly changing up my schedule. The weekend stuff can probably still remain, or at least on Saturday. Uh, for the rest of the week will be questionable since I'll likely have varying work hours. So it'll probably be more of a case of, uh, yeah, will it or won't it. Now, I'll, I'll probably... Um, actually, my working days will be from uh, Monday to Thursday, that will be certain. The hours at which I will be working, that is, uh, that will be shifting around. Uh, how much, or I don't know specifically. Um, so yeah, that will have to be seen. Uh, no, hmm. we didn't miss an entire level. There, there, it could be that there is an extra level, but we, we typically stream games more for the story instead of 100% completion. Hmm. Hello. Though I do have to wonder something here though. This might be a bit of a a continuity hiccup. I early on I thought there was a continuity hiccup as well with Eden's waters and such, and how Eden was supposedly sealed, but it it was sealed up again after. Um Yeah. Actually, if you think about it. This is extremely far back for the first game and the other games. Humanity are closer is in the together. Age. Yeah, this yeah. seemed to be happening at the uh, tribal level, but that ends a bit of a question about War's arm, because I believe I read somewhere that uh, War lost his arm because he went on a rampage on Earth during the medieval era, I believe. So let me. Do a quick search. Dark Siders, no, not Dark Sisters. Hey, I think it's a cutscene about to come. Yeah, I'm keeping an eye on things. Uh, what do you? Strife. You have proven your worth as soldiers of the Council. May your will and service continue unwavering for eternity. Thanks to your efforts, mankind endures, though changed forever by Lucifer's plot. Culling the aggressive humans you encountered was no doubt a grim task, but necessary. One that may help shape the Third Kingdom. Time will tell. Hey. What humans remain must be watched closely, protected. Listen thus, with the forging of these seven seals, a great treaty shall be wrought in the name of the balance. They who break it shall suffer the horsemen's wrath. Let our will be manifest within the seals, three from the children of heaven, three from the dwellers below, and a final seal from our own. The council has spoken. All right. So this this was the origin of the seven seals, at 
Yeah, we are not touching this. We've had enough difficulty on the easy mode. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's have a last look around. Let's see if there may be something new has popped up here. Yeah, oh, God, a re read now. Be no real interest in that, since it's just a combat stuff. Uh, no 17th level. Let's see, does these have anything new? And... Yeah, we... Let's have a look through that journal. So, uh, quest... Moloch... Okay. Armored Legion Champion. Okay. This shouldn't take too long and we're already a bit over. But yeah, we, with these finales, we can go over a bit longer. Let's see. Blackstone Keep. War and Strife head to Blackstone Keep to interrogate the demon Samael. The horsemen are surprised to find St. Blackstone... Okay, so these are just... Okay, these are... <laughs> okay, these first ones are just... Summaries of the levels, I'm guessing. Uh, or are some of these going to go into a bit more specifics? That's what it's, uh, after exploring. Well, exploring. Okay, here. Hellhounds. Ferocious, uh, ferocious lupine beasts that wander the wastelands of creation are no mostly known for their razor teeth and burning fiery eyes. With rock-hard uh, exterior armor and a feral nature, most attempts to trap or domesticate the creatures has, have, have proven fruitless. But among the legend, there is rumor of a soldier who has trained these creatures to serve him. The key, it is said, is that the Hellhounds are not simply trained, they are broken. Galrath, the Houndmaster, is a warrior force in the pits of the arena. Forced to battle Hellhounds for sports, Galrath learned to dominate the beasts with his own bare hands, fueled by the desire to survive and a deep hatred of his enemies. Having earned his freedom as an arena champion, Galarath is set to provide his services as Houndmaster to demons with deep pockets and a need for deadly guard dogs. All right. Mon. Throughout hell, it is common knowledge that Mamon's avarice knows no end. The, min the, yeah, the diminutive impish demon has amassed a horde of legendary proportions, a massive trove of gold, artifacts and jewels so large that he is said to have spread it across multiple hidden vaults. Maman has also used his incredible wealth to fund a personal army capable of protecting said horde and to seek out new artifacts of value in his name. When it comes to artifacts, the, most diff uh, the more difficult to obtain, the more Maman desires them. He has dispensed his forces all over creation to seek priceless artifacts while he himself hides within his vaults, swimming in gold and cradling rare magical weapons with a violent paranoia. It is rumored that Maman has recently obtained a set of artifacts so priceless that he has sealed himself away in his deepest vault, screeching in delight and cackling so loud that his own troops can hear him through the vault doors late into the night. Um... Good air. Yeah, Dreadwalkers. After defeating Maman, the horsemen, uh, the horsemen le uh, learned that Lucifer had access to Eden and is partnering with various demon masters. Uh, and this is another summary, Eden's corruption. Ah, here. Regarding the lesser demon Belial, uh, is a creature of plague and corruption. Massive in form, the grotesque Belial draws power from corrupting various... Uh, pardon? <clears throat> draws power from corrupting various resources such as pure waters from different areas of creation. Belial is also known to wield a large trident. I think in the combat we might have he might have actually been wielding a bident instead, but I don't actually re remember specifically. Uh, imbued, uh, uh, imbued with dark energy and made stronger by his corruption. Belial's current plan involved the term yeah, that's just summarization again. Uh, Bilal is known to feast on the flesh of demons or whatever else he can get his hands on, and is truly repulsive in nature. Astarte. Once a proud soldier in the angelic ranks under Abaddon, Astarte is a corrupted angel who lingers on Egan. Egan. Eden. Astarte was tasked with walking and watching over the destroyed Eden and being among the dead and decay slowly wore on her soul. Approached by Lucifer, she gave in to his temptation in exchange for the ability to bring the Nephilim back. 
albeit as distorted demonic shadows of their former selves. Astarte herself has been transformed into a bestial form, but retains much of the combat prowess from her time as a soldier. She is driven by a strong hate for the horsemen, seeing firsthand the pain of the Nephilim and living among the ruins of Eden. Chosen? Uh, again a summary. Summary. Dagon, known as the Drowned King, is a powerful demon who seized power and flood... Who, who seized power and floods various realms of creation. Known as a cleansing, Dagon seeks to use powerful magic and conduits called Stormcallers to bring down massive floods and create habitable spaces for his own aquatic form. A sprawling demon of tentacles and teeth, Dagon is not to be taken lightly and wields powerful storm magic of his own. Dagon currently lost after the realm of Eden, known to be a, ho a home to many rare artifacts and a source of power among demons. But the cleansing process involves summoning a storm and finding a place of power for Dagon, and once he has taken root, he can prove extremely troubling to remove. Yes, he was. Moloch. Moloch is a demon warlord with great ambition. A powerful and dangerous warrior, he has constantly locked points with Samael, both seeking to usurp the other and claim dominance over the many demonic clans of Hell. Moloch has often been bested in his attempts, never quite managing to summon enough power to serve his vile ambitions. Moloch has finally taken over Blackstone Keep, Samuel's fortress, and seems to have been granted a great army by Lucifer. Having also secured a powerful artifact known as a Blood Mantle, Moloch has become a force to be reckoned with, and his dangerous ambition fuels him on. Having transformed Blackstone Keep into a War Machine fortress, Moloch must be stopped before he upsets the balance. All right, and here we have extra stuff. The, okay, these we got from the artifacts. An ancient tome of magic given to Maman by Lucifer. It was one of several powerful artifacts stolen from Eden. Within its pages are various spells, words of power, and many ancient secrets. The storm orb, a glowing glass sphere that contains the power of a storm. Once used by the demon master Dagon, the storm within flashes with immeasurable energy. And here we go into Polon lore. The Chart Council. Uh, the Chart Council was created in order to maintain the balance of power in the never-ending war between heaven and hell. The Council seeks to prevent demons and angels from manipulating the faith of the conflict through illicit means or unsanctioned actions. Though the Council is physically represented by three, uh, by three stone heads, no one knows for sure how many, there, uh, how many are in their number or their true identities. Okay, so the stone heads are... Uh, the stone heads are, well, quite literally figureheads. They are just, uh, yeah, trumpets to for, through which they speak and act. Who they actually are is unknown thus. Okay, that that is very interesting. Yeah. Okay. The council has used various agents over time, but they gained their greatest enforcers after the Nephilim War in Eden. For Nephilim who questioned the crusade of their brothers and sisters were chosen by the council to become horsemen, gaining incredible power in exchange for serving the council without question for the rest of their existence. Okay, so that's why they were chosen, or one of the reasons why they were chosen. Because they, yeah, they weren't going along with it. The council has since you know, used the horsemen to deal out justice and maintain the balance across creation, often with extreme force. Strife. As irreverent as he is deadly, Strife is an acrobatic gunslinger and the most derisive, uh, derisive of the poor horsemen. Strife keeps his past well guarded and struggles to understand his place among the other horsemen, preferring to make light of dire situations and shooting before asking questions. Strife wields the handguns Mercy and Redemption, uh, powerful ranged weapons uh, able to be imbued with various uh, with different properties. Then we have War. The youngest of the four horsemen, War is a ferocious swordsman with uh, a heart of rage. A committed soldier to the council, War upholds the balance with unquestioning resolve. Not one for small talk or negotiation, War dives fearlessly into battle with his sword Chaos Eater, a massive blade that thirsts for destruction. And youngest? Finally, yeah, he's the youngest, even though he's physically the biggest. <laughs> <laughs> and then finally, Fury and Death. Fury and Death make up the other half of the Four Horsemen. All Nephilim who chose to stand against their kind uh, genocidal rampage, for, uh, the Fury and Death both serve the Council and seek to uphold the balance under their authority. 
Fury is the most unpredictable of the horsemen, having initially snapped at the council and saw an opportunity for her own gain in becoming a horseman. She wields a deadly uh, flame, uh, a deadly blade whip and is a being of fiery rage. Death is the leader and most powerful of the four horsemen, as well as the eldest of the surviving Nephilim. He is fierce throughout creation, arrogant and calculating, while also being cunning. He wields the shape shifting scythe harvester. Okay, we never knew the we never knew the name of his blades. We hmm. did? Or I it, probably it, it forgot was, then. <laughs> yeah, it was called it was called uh, the Reaper's Harvester in uh, the first game where you could get it. Okay, I, I thought it was more a move. Uh, actually, yeah, we, we found his weapon and it was named Harvester. Okay. And are, are these war drums going to stop anytime soon? Yeah, I was, I was asking, why are these still going on? Uh, uh, oh, God, I look at the cap power level. Yeah. <laughs> and Holy. let's see. Really, Nim? So, all tricks to doors for chapter 17. Okay, let me look it up as well. Uh, just to, not that I don't trust you, just to confirm it. Uh, let's see. Dark Siders Genesis level 17. Okay. Uh, going to hope this doesn't give. Secret boss fights Wicked. Okay. We have saw Wicked mentioned in the credits. Yeah, Wicked Killington. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, now we know who who that is. Then is this a, a secret boss? Then. Okay. Um, doesn't like sound like boss. it has much to do with the story, actually, though. So. Hmm. Maybe something for an extra video sometime. But otherwise, yeah. Otherwise, I think we can call it at that, though. Yeah. Plus, we've gone an half hour in extra now. All right. <clears throat> well then, um, as I said, next week we'll have to see how things go from there on. But for now, we'll still have Saturday. I'm unsure about Sunday, though, since yeah, I'll be starting on Monday and probably be best. Actually, I'm being stupid. Sunday we stream early so we can do that as well. So yeah, we have two certain streams still before things are thrown into chaos. And let's see, really name again. Yeah. It says it's uh, something to do with the games before. Hmm. Uh, from what I saw, it said some, it's, it was for a secret boss fight with a character called Wicked Killington or something, which is not a name I've ever heard before or even referenced to, so... Hmm. Um, yes, the name alone sounds like a yoke name. Yeah. I I think we'll leave that be. Uh, it would... Unless it's just, like, extremely hard, it would probably not even take an hour or so for a stream to come. So anyone who might be interested in that, you can probably just find it on YouTube. I'll probably look it up there myself. But yeah, for now though, we are done with Dark Souls Genesis. Um, I've said this a few times, I, I didn't like this so much at the start, but it definitely grew on me, specifically because, no, especially because Strife is just a fun character to see him <laughs> interact with everyone else. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so yeah, let's take a look for someone to raid. Uh, bring up that browser that I use for Twitch. And then let's see. Anyone around that I know reasonably? Uh, let's see. Azra is online. Uh, someone I don't know. Someone I don't know. I'm looking at games here. Just Channing, I'm going to avoid then. Uh, art, not really applies as well. Um, okay, let's let's give 
let's give Asra a visit because uh, she likes similar types of games to Darksiders here. Okay, that is muted. That is good. So, slash raid. Uh, actually, I can just copy paste probably. Oh, no, I can't. Da, 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 da. Asra or pain. And there we go. Starting that up. Okay. For now, though. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. Thank you anyone that has been watching now or later. And thank you. Uh, what was how was the pronunciation again? Uh, Shanker Crab for showing up and chatting for a while. Uh, thank you as well for that. You're really nim. And of course, thank you as always as well, Drakir. Oh, you're most welcome, my friend. And yeah, Saturday we'll be continuing with Escape from Monkey Island. Hopefully it will work better now. Uh, though there is only so much I can really do about an old game like that. So, yeah. <clears throat> Beyond that, next week, if I can still keep my schedule as is. Uh, if not, I'll try to at least stream on Fridays. Uh, so yeah, basically becoming a weekend streamer. Uh, <clears throat> um, other than yeah. that, though, I'll, I'll probably be streaming on my own tomorrow at, to, for the Minecraft server that I was on, or that I am on. But beyond that, uh, Escape from Monkey Island, Showcase Sunday, and then whatever day we can stream again in the next week and following that from there on out we'll be starting with a new sequence of games that i've been seeing other than that uh, thank you all and see you all next time be fit see folks <laughs> goodbye see ya <laughs>